And I'm back with the uh, final video of this ride. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm in West Cape May, starting this ride at Beach Plum Farm. I profiled this before on a uh, on a video, but it was a long time ago. So I thought on my way back, I would uh, ride through West Cape May, stopping at Beach Plum Farm, and uh, maybe also pulling into uh, Willow Creek Winery. I talked a lot about Beach Plum Farm on a video a long time ago, but this is an operating uh, farm supplying a lot of uh, produce to some Cape May restaurants. It's, uh, it's owned by a number of, uh, or not a number, but a few uh, restaurant owners. I think most notably is uh, a gentleman by the name of Curtis Bashaw who owns Congress Hall and uh, Cape Resorts Group. But uh, this is a nice place to come. Uh, it's sort of like a, a very miniature petting zoo too. I mean it's not built as a, as a petting zoo by any stretch of the imagination but you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Uh, you can come here and have lunch. I shouldn't really be coming back here, but just to give a quick turnaround view of this. You can see it's a peaceful, uh, quaint place. Right in here, they usually have a fire pit in the fall. These tables are all socially distanced. And you can come in here and buy produce as well. But restaurants that uh, advertise farm-to-table produce in Cape May, this is where they are getting their produce from. So that's a, a quick tour of Beach Plum Farm and I'll take a ride back here to show Willow Creek Winery.
that is a private home. That's not part of the winery. So this is uh, this is Willow Creek Winery, as you can see. Up ahead a little bit, I'll show the uh, area where you can get some wine and sit out. It's still early, so there's nobody here yet. It's only about quarter after 11. So I think with that, I will, uh, instead of recording the ride back, which I've shown so many times, uh, I'll end this video here make it a short video. So thanks for watching. Take care.